Good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year. I'm Pastor Chuck Thompson, the pastor of Trinity Lutheran Church here in New London. I welcome all of you who are joining us this morning as we kick off a new year, the year 2021, with some uh, time of uh, devotion, some time of scripture and prayer. Anyway, we're glad to have you all with us as uh, we begin this uh, new year of new possibilities together. Let us begin with a word of prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have filled all the earth with the light of your incarnate word. By your grace, empower us to reflect your light in all that we do. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The text I'd like to share with you today is the opening of the book of Joshua. I'd like to share with you Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 9. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' servant, saying, My servant Moses is dead. Now proceed to cross the Jordan, you and all his people, into the land that I am giving to them, to the Israelites. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you, as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the, great, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, to the great sea in the west, shall be your territory. No one shall be able to withstand against you all the days of your life. As it was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall put this people in possession of the land that I swore to their ancestors to give them. Only be very strong and very courageous, being careful to act in accordance with all the law that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, so that you may be successful wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall be successful. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Dear friends in Christ, grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, today we begin a whole new year. I would imagine for many of you, 2020 can go. Good riddance, 2020. And look, don't let the door hit you on the way out. That's probably how many of us are feeling after this past year. It's been certainly a, a very challenging year, a difficult year, a year of a lot of anxiety and stress. And I think we would all pretty much agree, COVID stinks. We've dealt with a lot this year. But now, as we begin the year 2021, we have a year of new possibilities, new dreams, new visions. It's got to get better, right? Well, I chose this passage from Joshua because Joshua was facing a whole new beginning. You know, he had been Moses' second-hand man for all the years that uh, Moses had led the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt into the Promised Land. Moses had died, his time had come, and now Joshua was taken over. And God was commissioning Joshua with the job of conquering the Promised Land, the land of Canaan. Israelites have been through a lot of rough times, but now Joshua is called to move forward. I wonder if he was a little frightened. After all, now all those people were under his care. His, they were his responsibility. But God's word to Joshua was, Be strong and courageous. Be careful to obey the laws that I've given you. I will not ever leave you or abandon you. Be strong and courageous. I'll always be with you. These are beautiful words, aren't they? For, for a man who perhaps was a little anxious, a little scared. But he was beginning a whole new ministry, a whole new, I mean, a whole new venture 
Because God had commissioned him. But God told him, you can go forward, don't be afraid. These are words we need to take to heart today too. Be strong and courageous, God tells us. For I will not leave you or forsake you. After last year really hit us over the head, we could not have anticipated the pandemic and everything. It's hard to know what to expect in 2021, but these words that God spoke to Joshua are words we can take to heart. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. I will be with you. We can look forward to this new year knowing that God is with us. And how do we move forward? How do we trust in God? Well, God told Joshua, stay close to my word. Take in my word. Obey my word, and then you'll be fine. We still have God's word today, and well, we don't have to go through all the laws and so on right now. The main thing we need to focus on as we begin this new year are the two greatest commandments. Remember them? Number one, love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, your strength. And number two, love your neighbor as yourself. Love God and love your neighbor. That is how we follow God. That is how we place our trust in God. God has given us what we need as we face a new year. And we don't know when the pandemic will end yet. At least the vaccines have started coming out. They're not coming out as quickly as people would like, but yet there's hope there. But as God told Joshua to obey the commandments, this, these words are especially relevant for us. Remember, love God and love our neighbor. As we move forward in this new year of new possibilities, we need to stay focused on God. Get in his word when we can and love our neighbor as ourselves. We've sacrificed a lot this year, but yet, when we wear these, when we use this, when we sacrifice time at really large gatherings or whatever, we're doing this out of love of neighbor. We're doing this to protect our neighbors. This will not last forever. We know that God will see us through it. We don't know when yet, but we can go forward. We can be strong and courageous as God commanded Joshua. Be strong and courageous, knowing that God is with us. Go forward loving God, staying focused on Him, and loving our neighbor, whoever they may be. Staying focused on God and our neighbor, we can have the peace, the strength, the patience to handle anything. I'm looking forward to 2021. Let's see what God is up to. We can trust in Him, for we know that God is always with us. Amen. Now let us have some uh, prayer time together. I will lift up all those on our uh, prayer list, and at one point I will pause, and uh, if any of you have any prayer concerns you'd like to share, feel, please feel free. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. Gracious Lord, we thank you for a new year. We thank you for 2021. Lord, we pray that you will help us to to love you and love our neighbor, knowing that when we stay close to you, when we stay focused on you, Lord, we know that we will get the peace, the strength that we need. Help us, O oh Lord, to be strong and courageous, to trust in you and your word as we move forward. And Lord, we especially lift up those who are in need of healing. We especially lift up Kathy, Eddie, Helen, Jackie, Dawn, Gerald, Ginger, Anna, Sam, and all others we name. And Lord, we also lift up all those in the military who are serving, especially Ryan, Shane, Chris, Zachary, and all others. Lord, we pray for wisdom and courage for our government as we're facing transition. We, we pray that our, our leaders will work together for the, for the common good. We pray for flexibility for all of us. We pray for comfort and hope from all those separated from loved ones, all those who are who have lost loved ones to COVID, those who are serving loved ones with COVID, those dealing with any kind of loss. We pray for peace and comfort for them. We pray for all medical care workers, frontline workers. We pray for uh, all those, Lord, who are in need of your help. 
all those battling mental illness, anxiety, loneliness. There's a lot of pain out there, Lord. So show us, Lord, how we can best love our neighbor. And Lord, we also lift up all those who are grieving. We especially lift up the family and friends of Pastor Richard Schrader, who served Trinity Lutheran many years ago. We pray for Pastor Schrader's family. And we thank you for his time of ministry here. And Lord, we lift up anything else that's in our hearts and minds. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now let us pray together using the words our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Again, thank you all for joining us, and a happy new year to everyone. I wish you all God's peace and blessings as we uh, begin a new year together, the year 2021. Take care. God bless all of you.